Hey everybody, welcome back to Spoon FPV. So today I'm going to go through some quick tips on how I do my charging and uh, clean up my wiring a little bit and hopefully you find something a little bit useful out of this. So instead of me talking about it, let me take you with me to my charging station. All right, this is behind the scenes here. This is the spoon. Uh, yeah, okay, so anyway, flip this around so I can actually see it here. So, charge the battery pack. No, it is charging. Well, that didn't work out. We had some technical difficulties, but the, what I wanted to show you is how I charge. Everything that I use has an XT60 connector on it. These cables basically stay plugged into my charger at all time. There's a reason for that. And mainly it's because uh, most people, I guess, here, I guess, you charge like this, right? These cables are bulky. It's kind of like, it, it gets to be a mess to keep track of them the more that you have. So what I did instead of having, let me just separate one of them out. Instead of having a bunch of cables like this um, for every battery type and every connector, um, that I have, I actually make adapter cables. So this takes up a lot less space than those other cables and you can charge, you know, your JST, your XT90, what, whatever it is that you have in your uh, stock by just having these style connectors uh, and these, li these little adapters without ever having to remove the cables here. And the reason it, that uh, I like it this way is because one, it cleans things up a bit, right? Like, so now I can charge my XT90 and you might be thinking, well, that's not gonna be able to carry all the current. Well, really this is 60 amps. If you're charging a battery at more than 60 amps, it's, it's for charging. So the charging is gonna be a lower current anyhow, right? So you really don't have to worry about this not being able to carry the current that this is because it's, it's only for, for charging. Uh, the, the other reason I like to do it this way is because when you have a bunch of these on your bench here and you have, you know, oh, let's charge a battery and we plug a battery into this and you forgot to plug it into this end. Now you have basically your positive and negative lead exposed on your, your bench and they can snap together and weld together and like make like a big mess. So basically by doing it this way, I never have to, with these, I never have to unplug from my charging station. I still always check, like that's always like the good check to make sure that these are plugged in. But really like my bench is, I can, it's, it's a lot cleaner to look at it and know that it's plugged in. So, you know, I plug whatever, whatever it is for the battery that I'm using to plug it in. And then I can charge uh, that battery pack on an XT60. And this does work for parallel charging. Let me grab a parallel pack. So again, more, more adapters for different charging styles. The other thing is you can actually just plug, plug all these into your parallel board if you want to charge one at a time, right? And then you can have all your different charging accessories plugged directly into, again, XT60 on this. So you can have all these different accessories plugged into your parallel charging board and whatever one you want plugs into there. Or you can put a bunch of the same style, the same style adapter into it and charge the same batteries. The nice thing about, uh, about this type of adapter too is you also have your, if, if I have an XT90 battery, like, and I want to put, uh, for some reason I wanted to put 12S out of one of these cables, right? I could just plug my XT90 into this and then plug my, well, I could plug something else into, into this guy. So it, it kind of like end, ends up being this universal adapter board as well too. So I really, I really like doing it this way. It kind of cleans everything up. Uh, and basically I no longer have this jumble of wires and a little I feel like it's a little bit safer because I'm never exposing leads like this by accident so hopefully you enjoyed that quick tip I'm doing a series on long range stuff that's should be coming out shortly I'm forcing myself to finish that before I upload any videos hit that like and subscribe button